The purpose of this study is to test whether kangaroo mother care, also called KMC, can increase survival of very small and premature babies. In this hospital, all babies will get the same care, the best that is possible. This research will give that same care to half of the babies in the incubator or cot, which we know is safe. The other half will get exactly the same care, but in KMC, to study whether this is safe and even helpful for helping babies survive. Both sets of babies will get the same care. It is only the place of care that is different. This film is for parents and staff as they care for the tiny preterm baby together on the mother's chest. In this film, we will say that the baby is a boy. Preparing for the birth. You as parents have come into the hospital as your baby was born prematurely or early. The staff will have already spoken to you about the research study. After your baby has been weighed, you have by chance been put in the group that will receive all the best care for your baby, but in kangaroo mother care position, on your chest. This film will explain and show practically how to care for your baby with the warmth of your body. Immediate KMC in the labour ward for a normal birth. The baby will be weighed as soon as all necessary care has been done. If chosen for KMC, the baby will be put on mother's chest straight away and both will be covered. The baby will be watched carefully. A red light will be put on his hand to measure oxygen and heart rate. The baby should be disturbed as little as possible. It is best to keep the baby on the mother at about 40 degrees. This seems to help his heart and with his breathing. Premature babies are very small and their lungs may need help to breathe. The baby may need to be taken to a table with equipment to help him breathe. He may need help breathing with extra puffs of air as his lungs are not yet ready. He may also have a tube giving continuous air pressure called CPAP. Tiny tubes may be put into his veins as intravenous lines through which he can be given medicines and fluids. This may also be done with you supporting your baby while the staff put in a drip, for example. Then your baby will be brought back and put on your chest. KMC born by Caesarean if your tiny preterm needs to be born by caesarean, he will be wrapped in a warm towel and taken to be checked and weighed and chosen for the trial. It is easier to put the baby on the father or a guardian to begin with. This can be done in the operating room or just outside. In this small film, the mother is left in the operating room and the baby is taken to father in the room next door. He can then be taken in a wheelchair into the operating room to meet mother. It is better for the baby to put him on mother's chest on the operating table, but this may be more difficult for the staff. This can be done without disturbing the surgeon or the sterile field. The baby can be put straight onto mother's chest in the operating room if she is awake and then covered. Here he feels warm and safe. A staff member needs to watch the baby constantly. Immediate KMC in the first hour. The baby then spends the first hour on mother's body. Make sure that the baby is dried carefully and gently. Keep the same cloth with its warmth over him and add more cloths or towels if needed. Normal care and observation should be done without uncovering the baby. This will keep the baby warm. Look for your baby's eyes opening. Switch off any bright lights and you may see this. Talk to him and he will try to find your face. If your baby is a fairly big preterm, 
he might wriggle his way up Mother and try to nuzzle and suckle from Mother's breasts. Don't expect him to breastfeed straight away, but you can help your baby to the breast by putting his nose near the nipple. Even a small baby may make small movements towards the breast. Help him gently. Remember, he's still very little. If you want, you can even hand express a little early milk for him to smell. Remember to always keep him well covered. In the first hour after birth, start expressing to get the milk started sooner. Even a few drops of this very early milk is helpful for your baby. What we have described already is immediate kangaroo mother care, starting in the birthplace. This togetherness of mum and baby should be continuous in the nursery as well. Continuous KMC Lying down all the time with your tiny baby on your chest is difficult as you as mother have to watch your baby all the time. But you also need to sleep and walk around. So we will show you how to make this easier. We tie the baby onto mother's chest in a KMC special shirt. This KMC shirt can be used for the first time before moving a baby on mother or father from the birthplace to the nursery. It also helps you to do continuous KMC all day and night as the shirt will keep him safe even when you are sleeping. It is important that your baby's skin is against your skin, so take off your bra and other shirts. The KMC shirt comes with a non-stretch white piece of material. We fold the long side of this and it is tied very tightly across your baby's chest and back of neck. It is under his ear and above your breasts, just under your armpits. His head is slightly up in sniffing position and to the side to keep the baby's airway open. Your baby's hands must be bent up near his mouth so he can comfort himself or suck his hand like he did inside you. Your baby's head should be close enough to kiss and on your chest bone, not low down between your breasts. Baby's legs should be curled up together next to your stomach as if he is sitting. The white tie is to keep his airway open and safe, so needs to be tight. Babies breathe with their stomachs. This sounds strange, but for the lungs to fill with air, the stomach or abdomen needs space to move and not be squashed. The KMC shirt can then be put on and the two triangular sides tied in tight under the baby's bottom. Make sure his feet do not stick out. You should feel your baby tight on you. Many mothers say it feels as if her baby were still inside. This way the warmth of the mother's skin always keeps her baby warm with the baby's airway protected. KMC for transport. A tiny preterm cannot keep himself warm, so it is important that your baby should not be taken out and left. Even if you as mother needs to walk around or eat, read or even go to the toilet. When newborn or when the baby is unstable, the KMC shirt should be used and the mother or guardian should be moved in a wheelchair or trolley or bed with wheels. Once your baby is stable and growing, mother and guardians can walk about freely with the baby in the KMC shirt. Baby can sleep safely in the KMC shirt. Babies usually fall asleep when the KMC shirt is put on, then they sleep for about one hour. A mother can almost always tell when the baby is falling asleep, or is deeply asleep, or starting to wake up. This KMC shirt can also help you as mother to sleep, knowing that your baby is safe. Sleep when your baby sleeps. The shirt must be tied properly when you are sleeping to keep the baby safe. KMC shirt can be used during infant feeding. 
When your baby starts to wake up, loosen the two flaps of the shirt just slightly. Undo the white tie and let your baby slide down inside the KMC shirt so that his head is near the nipple. When your baby is awake, he should not be tied to your chest, but be spending this time feeding. It may take time for the mother of a preterm to produce breast milk for her baby. Your nursing staff will provide alternatives. Whenever the baby is at your breast, try to express some breast milk to get his food supply going. You can express the milk by hand or with the pump if available. This mother is giving her baby her own expressed breast milk. Breast milk can be given through a tube in the nose or in the mouth. This should be done while the baby is next to mother's breast to stimulate milk production. Your breast milk can also be given to your baby through a syringe Paladai or on a teaspoon. As he needs more and your breasts make more, a tiny cup can be used and the baby fed. Do this very slowly. The stomach of a tiny preterm is very small, so he will need small feeds of breast milk every hour or so when he wakes up. If your baby hasn't woken in two hours, he should be gently woken and encouraged to feed. Notice that the sleep cycle and the feeding time fit together nicely. Breast milk feeding of expressed milk is how we start. Our long-term aim is for your baby to be exclusively breastfeeding. Gradually, you as mother can express more and more milk and the baby can be encouraged to suckle on the breast. This is a learnt behaviour leading towards the baby being able to breastfeed effectively. Exclusive breastfeeding means that your baby is swallowing only breast milk and growing well without anything else. If the baby is sleeping on father's chest, when he wakes up, we can move the baby to the mother for breastfeeding. The baby should always be moved prone or facing downwards with his arms and legs coming to midline. A very small baby should be placed on the mother who is almost lying down flat on her back. This way the baby feels stable and can control the rate of flow of breast milk. The mother should express from the other breast when her baby can maintain a latch. Keep feeding and sleep cycling going day and night. It is busy and tiring, but it is what your tiny baby needs to grow. Share this work with your close family members. Using the KMC shirt with twins. Twins are more likely to be born prematurely and may be small for their gestational age. Twins should also do skin-to-skin -skin contact, either having father and mother each having a baby on their chest, helped by other family members. Alternatively, one parent can have both small babies on their chest and the parents can take turns. It is important that both twins have their airways protected at the same time with the white tie and are able to breathe well. Otherwise, everything is the same as described above. The mother will, however, need support when feeding both of her babies at once. If she finds it easier, she can feed one twin at a time. Caring for the unstable baby, the KMC shirt. Some preterm babies may change color because they have times of very slow heart rate called bradycardia or even stopping breathing sometimes. We call this an apnea. Keep checking on your baby. You might even feel this happening through the contact of your skin. If this happens, you as mother or father may be told to quickly move your baby to see if movement or standing up will get the baby breathing again. Call a nurse quickly to help you. Firm and gentle stroking may be enough to get breathing started. If the baby is very unstable, he can still be held in skin-to-skin -skin contact, but should not be tied on in case the staff need to quickly give him extra oxygen 
or other support. KMC can be done with technology. Continue skin-to-skin -skin contact even if technology is needed. The staff will make sure that the technology is fixed well to the baby. When the baby is in KMC, all tubes and wires are taped to the parent's skin. This means they can feel the pressure of pulling out before it pulls out of the baby. If the baby is being moved from an incubator, tape all of the tubes and wires together. KMC and the dying baby. Some very small preterm babies may be born too soon and not strong enough to survive. You as parents can then ask to hold your baby as it is dying or if it has already died during labor. This is very sad and may feel difficult, but it is a special way to say goodbye. Some premature babies may be very sick for very many reasons and the medical staff may not be able to save the baby. If your baby is dying, he will feel most peaceful and comfortable dying knowing that he is held and loved. Sometimes a tiny preterm may seem to be doing well and then suddenly collapse unexpectedly. As parents, you need to know that it is not your fault. You may cry many tears, but they are healing tears. Whatever the circumstances, it can be helpful to have pictures of you holding your tiny baby. You can also ask the staff to make a small handprint or footprint to remember how tiny your baby was. Other family members helping with skin-to-skin -skin contact. Some mothers will only manage to do a few hours of kangaroo mother care. Other family members should then do KMC so that we get continuous KMC. It may be helpful to use a KMC dose chart. All low birth weight babies need to keep their temperature constant. KMC is the only good way of doing this. Continue KMC throughout the hospital stay using father or other family member so that they are also familiar with the care and will be more likely to help the mother doing it when she gets home. This will help to change the way tiny preterms are cared for at birth, in hospital and in the community when they get home. This big brother was also born preterm. He is now a healthy 18-month-old boy. Preterm babies do grow, so it is important to keep up your hope. This film has told you the main points about kangaroo mother care. The staff will help you with more details. Thank you for being part of this study.